This video is divided into three portions. In the first part, we place a column inside Brevet. In the second part, we assign its reinforcement. And in the last part, we do the column detailing with the proper annotations. Welcome to Civil Builders. I am Engineer Arsalan. In order to create a column inside Revit, we have to follow these steps. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, we create a new project file using the structural template. We can access the column using the structure tab or we can use a shortcut CL for it. After the assign of column command, we can use the required cross section and its type from the properties palette. After selecting the desired cross section, we have to configure its level and elevations. In order to create a column between level 1 and level 2, we have to select the height option and level 2 option. And then we simply click in the drawing area to complete its placement. And press escape to deactivate the command. For rebar placement, we took these steps one by one. For rebar placement, we choose rebar option. And then we choose its bar type and shape and from the rebar set we choose a pattern that suits our need for placing of single bar we choose single option and then choose a work plan for placing a vertical bar we choose perpendicular to cover and then we we'll simply click on the column to assign the reinforcement in it similarly we can select fixed number option to place multiple number of bars in a single time. We can modify rebar properties from the properties panel. Once we select an element, its properties showcase on the properties panel. We can change its rebar number even once it's assigned and its, its quantity like if you want to assign three rebars for stirrups, we follow the same procedure. We choose the rebar from the structure tab, and then we choose its rebar number and its shape. And then we select work plan. We choose parallel to cover. We adjust its spacing from the rebar set. In that case, we select maximum spacing equal to six inches. And then we simply click in the column to place our rings. For better visuals, we change its display options to shaded view and detail level to fine. And we can also change its scales to 1 by 2 inch. For 3D view, we click on the home icon and then we modify its graphic display option to Shaded view. Now we are unable to see the reinforcement. In order to uh, visualize the reinforcement, we have to increase the transparency by over adding its properties. We just have to click and then from the overrides by element, we have to increase its transparency to 40%. To make it more presentable, we have to modify the properties of rebar from the properties panel. First, we have to Select all the elements by dragging and clicking. And then from the filter tab, we choose the structural rebar option and then press OK. And then from the graphic view visibility setting, we choose view op score. And then we increase our detail level to fine. Now it become more presentable. So to mark horizontal and vertical dimensions, we use a line tool from the annotate tab. We can also access this command using the shortcut DI. Then we simply click on 
its edges. Press escape to cancel the command. Elements get automatically tagged by using the command tg. Then we click on the element that we want to be tagged. For example, if we want to tag the rebar, then I'll simply select on the rebar. And for the vertical bars, I'll select on the vertical bar. And for the beam, I also select on it. We can modify the tag types from the properties palette. For this, we have to click on the element that we want to change. And then from from these different options, we choose the one that suits our need. Then we prearrange by just dragging an element. From the added type, I changed the rebar tag. The letter arrow had from none to open dot. Then it looks like this. We can draw the section by using the view tab. And then simply clicking on the drawing window and dragging to the right side. Uh, to view this section, we have to we have to double click on the head. And then to make it presentable, I change the detail down to fine. We can hide this region from the bottom bar, and uh, we can modify the properties of uh, the rebar from the properties panel. For tagging, we use the command tz and then simply click on the element that we want to be tagged. We repeat the same procedure for the stirrups. Then we'll modify the properties. That's all for today. In the next video, we'll create a quantity takeoff and barbering schedule of the rebar elements. And then we'll see how we place our views in sheets.